My channel i hope you guys are in the today so in today's video i have a full face almost of charlotte tilbury tubes now most of these products like half half you can see half of the face is charlotte tilbury and half of the face is other brands that are really affordable so i'm super excited to share all the dupes some are maybe spot on dupes some i would say are maybe more like alternatives so let's just dive right into the video so Charlotte Tilbury is a brand, I really like the whole packaging but I feel like it's a little bit overhyped. A lot of people these days are, you know, using Charlotte Tilbury and I thought, you know what, this brand is dupable. It's not something their products are like super super unique. So let's just dupe them and it wasn't really that hard to dupe some of these products. So the first thing that I have with me is the elixir. So I have of course the mini one. So this is the magic serum twister elixir. Now this one is a product that I honestly don't like that much because of the scent. It has like a, like a very very ayurvedic sort of a scent and I found the exact product and it also has the same scent to it. This is the RAS, R-A-S, um, Radiance 24K Gold Hydrating and Brightening Face Serum. So both of these are so, so, so similar. I feel like they are just the exact product in different packaging. And the thing about both of them is that they, I don't know how, but they smell exactly same. Like, exactly. This, like, I don't, I don't see any difference between these products this is like a spot on spot on tube obviously the ingredients might be different but what they do for your skin you know just prep them up before foundation make your skin look glowy and hydrated both of them does exactly the same thing they look exactly same they smell exactly same the consistency and texture i feel like is a little bit different the charlotte tilbury is a little bit runny and the rust is a little bit more thicker in consistency like just a tiny bit but other than that they are like neck to neck similar so for me i also do not like the rust one because again of the scent and same with the Charlotte Tilbury. I just don't like either of them, but they are a dupe, yeah. So these two are, I feel like, a spot on dupe. The next product that I have here with me is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. This was for the price of 4,000 rupees. It is the most expensive product that I have from Charlotte Tilbury. And I have a dupe. Like first time I used it, I was like, oh my God, this reminds me of a foundation that I have in my collection. And it is the Plum Weightless Soft Blend Foundation. I feel like both of the texture, the way they sit on the skin is so much similar. I will say I don't like the Charlotte Tilbury one that much. The Charlotte Tilbury one actually oxidizes on my skin. First, when I blend it out, you will see that the shade is so much lighter. And as the day goes on, it kind of becomes more dark. But also at the same time, I don't like how the Charlotte Tilbury looks like in on camera you might see that it looks really good it looks fine but in person i just feel like the charlotte tilbury looks a little bit more makeup like it looks like i am wearing a foundation so i only wear the charlotte tilbury one for events and occasions while the plum one gives you the same kind of that you know flawless look to it but without giving you the foundation finish um so for me, I will say this dupe is actually much more better than the high-end one. I feel like the Plum Foundation, I like it so much more. I love the finish of it. I love the coverage of it. I feel like Charlotte Tilbury one has a little bit of a more coverage uh, than when you compare it with the Plum one. But other than that, I see no difference. And I will say if you're looking for the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush, flawless finish foundation then i feel like you can go for the plum one because how it looks on my skin is almost similar like can you see a difference in both the sides me though i cannot like seriously very very similar so the next product i have here with me is the charlotte tilbury powder now i will say this that it was a little bit hard to dupe of 
compact powder because I love the formula of the Charlotte Tilbury compact powder and I feel like it is it has a little bit of that unique aspect to it where you cannot dupe it that easily I went through a lot of powders in my collection I do have to say I don't have an extensive range of powders so I found the perfect dupe of this this is the big compact from color chemistry this is a beauty brand from juicy chemistry and the only thing i like from this brand is the powder because of the finish i love the charlotte tilbury powder because how it sits on my skin it actually makes my makeup base look so flawless and i have noticed the you know same with the juicy chemistry bake powder as well they feel velvet on the skin and that is why i like both of them equally and i just feel like they are a dupe i just think the charlotte tilbury is a little bit light on my skin but again i don't pack on powder so when i was using both of them they almost look very similar and you can see the finish as well i do a up close uh, shot of my skin it looks exactly exactly the same the charlotte tilbury one is pretty expensive i will say like it retails for 4000 rupees i think for a powder and the uh, juicy chemistry one you can get it like at 400 rupees so just see the price difference it's a lot and just try out the juicy chemistry one it's honestly good it's really really good it's one of the most underrated powders that i have in my collection and it is one of the best ones as well so the next thing actually i don't have it from charlotte tilbury because i honestly didn't want to spend my money on just one single shadow so i saw this single shadow it went viral it's like a lilac duochrome shade and it's from charlotte tilbury and i saw it and i was like you know what i have something like this in my collection i can dupe it very easily so the most close dupe that I found here is from Colourpop. Now I know Colourpop is not available here in India, but this if you if you can buy Colourpop from Instagram resellers or if you can buy you know from the direct website, then I would say check out this shade. It's the shade Ripple. It's one of my favorite shades from Colourpop. It has a very nice sort of lilac tone to it with a soft pink undertone which is what gives that duochrome shift to it and it is the closest dupe that i found to the charlotte tilbury eyeshadow now i found another dupe and it is available here in india but it comes in a palette it it, it, it doesn't come in a single shadow it is this lilac shade this lilac shade from forever 52 eyeshadow palette and this i feel like is also a very 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 close dupe to the charlotte tilbury eyeshadow this eyeshadow palette retails for around 2000 something and the charlotte tilbury eyeshadow is for the price of around 4000 or 3000 just for that single color so of course if you get this palette you get a ton of beautiful shimmer eyeshadows but i also again have an alternative to that this alternative is not exactly a spot on you but it is a good alternative that you can buy so this shade as you can see is a lilac pink sort of a shade that has a golden shift to it the only thing about this shadow is that it has a golden shift not a pink base now that's why it looks a little bit different on my eyes uh, so yeah it doesn't have that sort of true lilac form to it but obviously you can use this as an alternative and you can get this as a single shadow as well it is from glitter galaxy i will leave the shade name on the screen and i feel like this is more of a pink sort of a lilac tone to it uh, you can totally buy this one or you can look for the forever 52 palette or even the little eyeshadow from Colourpop whichever one you feel like you know is a closest dupe i just wanted to give you guys some dupes and alternatives all together anyway let's move into the next product so for the next product as well, I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury one, but let me tell you, this is the only mascara in the affordable range. I have searched everywhere. I have searched everything. I have searched the internet and this is the only affordable mascara that I could find. That is a burgundy shade. Now I saw Charlotte Tilbury had a burgundy mascara and ever since I saw it, I really wanted to buy a burgundy mascara that actually looks pretty on my lashes. Then I I came across this eye magic mascara in the shade berry and let me tell you i don't want the charlotte tilbury thing anymore because the charlotte tilbury one retails for like 3000 something or 
4000 for a mascara and when I am already getting it at such good price and the shade is, let me tell you, it's exactly the same. I have seen a lot of videos on the internet and I can tell you that this shade is very 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 similar and just look at the wand of this it's super tiny this product is very underrated very unique and something that you're not going to find elsewhere so definitely snatch it up even if it is not a dupe of Charlotte Tilbury I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury one I will just tell you guys to snatch this one up because of the shade it is very unique looks beautiful on the eyes looks absolutely gorgeous uh, so the next dupe that I have is also very similar but when I swatch it it's not that similar okay so this is the pillow talk matte beauty blush and this is not actually available here in India but I got it from uh, Instagram reseller and it was for the price of around 3800 I think so yeah very very expensive I know that uh, anyway so I found a very very similar dupe and this is the forever 52 juicy cheeks and it's it's something that I feel like is very similar in formulation as well. The Charlotte Tilbury Matte Blush, let me tell you, it's not matte first of all, but it has a very nice soft formulation. It is liquid, but it blends out effortlessly and it has a very thin consistency. You can layer this up. I feel like it's exactly the same where you know the consistency even the shade yes the forever 52 is a little bit more warm tone but when you put it on your cheeks it actually looks exactly the same this is on one side you can see I have the Charlotte Tilbury one and on, on the other side you can see I have the forever 52 one and they look exactly alike so I will tell you guys on swatch yes this might look a little bit different but when you blend this on your cheeks they are exactly the same product so the next product that I have here is actually a spot on spot on spot on tube and this is the famous uh you know or get sorry pink gasm from charlotte tilbury this is the pink gasm and this is like a highlighter pink sort of a highlighter and can be used as a blush topper as well this is the product that i absolutely love from charlotte tilbury i was like you know what it's worth my money because it looks so so good on my you know cheeks it looks like I'm blushing from within glowing from within and it doesn't leave any sh big shimmer particles on my face doesn't look makeup like so I was super happy about it then I found this dupe from makeup revolution and it's exactly the same product in a different packaging and that is the only difference that these two have so the shade Pinkasm has a very nice pinky sort of a reflect to it and it actually looks stunning on my cheeks, blends out beautifully and the same goes for their Makeup Revolution Super Dewy Liquid Highlight in the shade Pink Lights. I don't know if Makeup Revolution copied exactly from Charlotte Tilbury because Makeup Revolution tends to do that but they nailed the formulation. It's it's exactly the same. I haven't seen a lot of people talk about the Makeup Revolution, you know, dewy blushes, but I think so. Their formulation is so good. You are missing out if you don't try the Makeup Revolution one. Just give this a try, guys. It's honestly just the same and like exactly Charlotte Tilbury. I do not see any difference at all. Even the shade is spot on. Like, the pink shade, both of them exactly the same. So the next dupe that I have today with me is of course the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Top Medium. Now this is a product that I already duped before as well. I said that uh, the shade um, from Plume, uh, something high tea, the shade high tea looks exactly similar. But a lot of you guys said high tea doesn't look good on you guys. Maybe there is a little bit of a shade difference in each batch. I don't know what goes on. But then I found another dupe and I feel like this is also exactly same. So this is from Mama Earth and it's the shade Espresso Brown and both, both, they look same. Like I have on different lipstick on my lips and you cannot even tell that both of these are different because they look similar to each other the undertone how it sits on my lips the you know the finish of both the lipsticks they are seriously the same i wouldn't even say this is an alternative at this point i will say it's an exact copy so yeah both of these shades are very similar so if you wanted to buy the pillow talk medium shade look no more you can go ahead and buy from the mama earth espresso brown it's very affordable retails under rupees 
500 and yeah a very very good deal for the Charlotte Tilbury so that was it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it I did try to bring you guys as close dupes as I can let me know if you have tried any of these products do you know any other dupes from Charlotte Tilbury and I will see you guys later bye bye